Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone SE and you are having issues with your SIM card or network card. Maybe when you pop your SIM card in, uh, you're having issues. Maybe it says no service. Maybe it says searching. Maybe it says invalid SIM. Anyways, I'm going to give you 12 possible solutions to get your SIM card or network card up and running. And this is going to help most of you guys by the time this video is finished. So the first thing is go ahead and take out your SIM card, okay? So on the right hand side, you have that hole in here. You can use the uh, uh, SIM ejection tool. If you don't have this, you can use the back of like a stud earring or like a thin paper clip or bobby pin as well, okay? So go ahead and put it in the hole, give it a little bit of pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the SIM tray here. So let's go ahead and take this out. Here is my SIM card here. Let me go ahead and pull this out. First thing I want you to do is give it a little and just rub the contacts with your finger, like this. Now, I want you to go ahead and inside the uh, SIM card hole here, SIM card tray hole, I would, what I want you to do is blowing it really hard. <laughs> Give it a couple taps. Now, go ahead and grab your SIM tray here. Make sure that little hole is on the bottom right hand side, like this. And here's my SIM card. You can see the diagonal cut on the top right hand side right there. So it'll fit in perfectly right here. So go ahead and grab that. Place that onto the tray here. Make sure that it is in there so it's flush. Okay, so it's nice and flush just like that. And then go ahead and insert it back. And then as soon as you pop it in, what you want to do is give it a minute and hopefully you'll see uh, your carrier or your bars or whatnot. Okay, if it's not, then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step here is what we're going to do is go ahead and turn the phone off, press and hold the power button, then go ahead and slide the power off, wait about 10 seconds, then go ahead and power it back on. And then when it's up and running, go ahead and give another minute to find your network, your SIM card. Hopefully it's up and running. If it's not, we're going to go to the next step. So this next thing that we're going to do is we're going to force the iPhone SE to restart. It's called a force restart. Okay, and how you do that, it's a two key combo. What we want to do is we want to press, press and hold two buttons down at the same time. The power button and the home button. Okay, so follow along. Power button, home button. Ready? One, two, three. Three, press and hold both buttons, do not let go. Just keep holding on until we see that Apple logo appear, then we can let go. I'm still holding to both the buttons here, I'm not gonna let go. There's the Apple logo, I'm gonna go ahead and let go. Wait for the phone to boot back on, or boot back up, give it a minute, and hopefully it finds your SIM card and you guys are up and running. Now if it's not, we're gonna go to the next step here. All right, for this next step here, what we wanna do is go into settings here, and then right here we see airplane mode. And what we want to do is we want to turn airplane mode on, off, on, off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Wait a few seconds. Turn it off. Turn it back on. And then turn it off. And now wait a minute and hopefully it finds your network. If not, we're going to go to the next step. For this next step, we go into settings again. Tap on settings. And then from here what we want to do is we want to go down to do not disturb. Tap on do not disturb. And then it's currently toggled off. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Wait a few seconds. Turn it off. Wait a few seconds. Turn it back on. Wait a few seconds. Then turn it back off. And now wait. Give it a minute to see if it finds your, your network card. If not, we're going to go to the next step. For the next step, again, we want to go into your settings here. And then from settings, we want to go down to where it says cellular. Tap on that. And yours may not be yours may be grayed out, but if it's not grayed out, I want you to do this. Under cellular data, I want you to turn it off. On. Off. On. And then leave it like that and give it a minute. See if it finds your network. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step. Now the next step here is simply go down to where it says cellular data options. So tap on that. And I currently have my data roaming on. But what I want you to do is just turn it off or on, off, 
on off okay and then you can go ahead and leave the data roaming however you usually have it uh, for a lot of you guys out there you may get charged for having data roaming on for me data roaming is free for me in the US or anywhere actually in the world I can keep my data roaming on anyways turn it on or off just make sure take a look up there and see if it finds your network okay if not we're gonna go to the next step okay so back under the cellular where we had a uh, cellular data in the roaming. What I want you to do is go down here where it says network selection. Tap on network selection. And it's currently on automatic. Go ahead and turn it off. Just wait till it goes off. Okay, for some reason mine is not uh, turning off here, but typically once you turn it off, it's going to give you a selection of a whole bunch of other carriers like T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon. What I want you to do from there is pick your actual carrier and then wait for a minute. Hopefully it finds it, okay? If it doesn't find it, what I want you to do is just go back here, go back to the um, network selection and just make sure you put back on automatic if you don't if it doesn't find your sim card okay so again let's just pretend it didn't find your sim card your network card so we go ahead and put it back on automatic and from here we'll go to the next step so for the next step again we're going to go into settings here and from the settings what we want to do is we want to go down to general and then scroll all the way down where it says reset tap on reset and now what you want to do is right here, reset network settings. Okay, so tap on that. Then you got to put your passcode in. And once I do that, you can see, read down here. Okay, it says this will delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. So now, this doesn't mean that you're going to lose any other data like your apps and your photos and your videos. It's simply resetting all of your network settings. So even like once you go ahead and proceed to uh, reset network settings, basically what's gonna happen is gonna go ahead and reboot the phone. Once your phone is back up, then all of your network settings are back to factory defaults. So for example, you have to input your Wi-Fi network, your Wi-Fi password, and go through all that again. Anyways, wait for your f uh, phone to boot back up, give it a minute, and hopefully it finds your uh, network card or your SIM card and you're back up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. All right, so for this next step here, what I want you to do this, okay? What I want you to do is go ahead and you can use like a paper towel or something, but what I want you to do is basically press all in the back of your phone, okay? Give it a little pressure with both thumbs, all in the back, also on the sides as well, okay? All in the sides, you want to go ahead and press on both sides of the phone. Of course, you want to do it near the SIM tray as well, okay? And you also want to go ahead and press the front. Give it a little bit of pressure all in the front. And keep doing this. Believe it or not, there's some phones that I purchased on eBay that had this issue. And simply pressing on the phone actually got the... Uh, the phone was actually able to find the uh, SIM card. Okay, so go ahead and press on like that. Now go ahead and see if it found your carrier. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step here, okay? So first thing I want you to do for the next step here is go ahead and I want you to tap around the SIM, tr the SIM tray area. Tap on there, tap on there. Keep looking up here, see if it starts finding your network, okay? Tap on the back here, see if it finds a network. If it didn't, then I want you to do this. Now the thing is, like a lot of you guys actually lost your network service because you simply drop your phone and a lot of times if you drop the phone again it's going to go ahead and bring that sim card back to life okay anyways so if it's still down i want you to give it some wax like this leave it on the sides here on the other side on the back take a look at the phone and hopefully it found um your sim card and i'm telling you right now some of you guys are going to get it fixed that way okay make sure you guys comment which one uh which method actually worked for you or sometimes it takes a combination of methods if none of these like um methods work then go through the video five or six more times and try every single step okay because there's times where i tried it on the sixth time going through every step and it finally got my sim card up and running and i haven't had an issue with it for years again now basically, I mean, the last thing that I have for you 
is a factory reset here. So the only thing with a factory reset is if you do that, you're gonna lose everything on your phone. It's gonna be as if you just bought the iPhone brand new and took it out of the box. So all your photos, your videos, your documents, all of your passwords, your bookmarks, your settings is gonna be long gone back to the default. So I would advise you to go, if you're gonna go this route, if, if you call Apple and stuff like that, what they're gonna do is they're gonna eventually go ahead and uh, reset your phone anyway. So anyways, to reset your phone, you can just simply just go to settings here, and then we can go to general, then you can scroll all the way down, and you can go down to where it says reset here. Tap on reset. Now the thing is, now here it is right here, it says erase all content and settings. Remember, if you have anything important on here, guys, you guys gotta back it up. You know, you have to, you can back up everything on this iPhone to your iCloud, or you can go ahead and put a backup onto your iTunes on your Windows computer or your MacBook or whatever. You can go ahead and make a backup on that. Then you can go ahead and go down to the phone here, erase all content and settings, tap on that, put in your um, passcode, and then go ahead and do a factory reset. It'll probably take like 15, 20 minutes until the phone, the phone boots back up until it gives you that welcome screen and then you gotta choose your language and go through the whole entire beginning initial uh, process again, the beginning setup stages. And then once it's up, then what you can do is plug your phone into your computer to iTunes and you can go ahead and restore the backup onto your um, actual phone or you can do it through iCloud. Anyways, I hope one of these methods worked out for you or a combination uh, of these methods worked. If any of these methods worked, comment. Also, if, you th if you think it was a combination of one or two or three of them, comment that as well. If it didn't work, give me a dislike. Again, most of you guys are going to have your uh, phone, your SIM card up and running. I'll see you guys in the next one.